Hey all, welcome to Tuesday with Pastor Dan. Yes, it's Wednesday, I know, but the internet was out yesterday, so it was very difficult to get this done with no interwebs at all. Um, so here we are, Wednesday with Pastor Dan, Tuesday with Pastor Dan on Wednesday. Um, I'd like to share a prayer with you all um, by a professor. He was a visiting professor when I was there. He'd come in and preach a little bit or teach a little bit. Uh, he'd already kind of retired renowned scholar of the old test walter brueggemann but he has these he always had these just absolutely fantastic prayers and of course obviously he then published them because why not share them um but i want to share this one um and then talk about a little bit um so here's the prayer the witness tell the witnesses tell of your boundless generosity and their telling is compelling to us you give your word to call the worlds into being you give your sovereign rule to emancipate the slaves and the oppressed you give your commanding fidelity to form your own people. You give your life for the life of the world, broken bread that feeds, poured out wine that binds and heals. You give, we receive, and are thankful. We begin this day in gratitude. Thanks that is met is a match for your own self-giving. Gratitude in gifts offered. Gratitude in tales told. Gratitude in lives lived. Gratitude willed, but not so readily lived. Held back by old wounds, turned to powerful resentment. Retarded by early f fears, become vague anxiety. Restrained by self-sufficiency and a can-do arrogance. Blocked by amnesia, unable to recall gifts any longer. Do this yet. Create innocent space for us this day, for the gratitude we intend. In thankfulness we will give, we will tell, we will live. Your gift through us to, the, to gift the world. Amen. Gratitude. Gratitude. Gratitude that we forget. Gratitude that we withhold. Gratitude we misplace. Gratitude that we block with our own arrogance and selfish ambition and a can-do attitude, as he says, or that self-sufficient righteousness that we think we have and pulled ourselves up by the bootstraps. And that's misplaced gratitude, whether we don't share it with those who helped us or with God. I, since the birth of my child find myself more grateful i don't know what happened but it just kind of happened even for the guys and gals who make me a sandwich at jimmy john's when i say thank you like i really mean i meant it before but now it's like oh thank you so much because you made my life just a little bit simpler um and that gratitude is powerful especially when we mean it and we we direct it and we give it to people and we say thank you we, the kids at connections were always like say please and thank you like we try manners right I'm not worried about manners. I'm worried about the power of gratitude. Um, you know, when, when someone does something for you, it's powerful to say thank you and mean it because people hear that. People feel that. They feel that gratitude and they, they, they it, it uplifts them and it gives them the presence to continue to do those things. And to God, to start the day with gratitude, to be, to work, to live, to move forward. Um, uh, there is some research I've seen that says when we live grateful lives, when we have gratitude, we have profound joy, and we live healthier, fuller lives. Instead of resentment and struggle and pain, we show uh, we, we show thanksgiving and we we offer joy and hope and love. So if we start our days with gratitude, and our days and our lives begin to to be full and much fuller and, and much more profound, lived in joy. Um, and we're able to respond to people and to things and God's call in our lives. I find myself extremely more grateful. <laughs> but maybe that's because I need all the help I can get. And so I uh, I am grateful. I'm grateful to all of you. I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful uh, this day. May we all find that gratitude that we can then put out into the world. Enjoy and hope and peace. May you all be blessed. Look forward to seeing you soon.